Thank you, thank you, Mano. It's loading good. Uh, thank you, everyone, and for inviting uh, the community resources team to Wiki Arabia. Uh, we are glad to be part of this session and to share with you more about the grants uh, strategy that we launch. So again, we are glad uh, you are part of this session. Our conversation today, I will be sharing with you about the community resources team, who are they and where are they and the thematic regions, they will be issues they will be covering. We will look at the strategy we launched, implementation, how was that process, uh, what did it entail? Uh, we will review our three new programs. Uh, I will share with you about the regional committees and I will talk a little bit about her experience working in and resourcing uh, the region. And lastly, we will have a moment to, to hear from you. So this is the community resources team, um, an internationally distributed team. Uh, I, I won't go through everyone, but some of the faces are familiar to you and maybe I could quickly run through it. We have Chris who will be working with communities in uh, Central Eastern Europe and Central Asia and the United States and Canada and his thematic uh, area or, or issue will be campaigns. We have Marty Johnson who will be in Northwestern Europe and her, her thematic um, focus will be gender. We have David who many of you have worked with who is our junior program officer. There is Mercedes, uh, who is, uh, will be working with communities in Latin America and the Caribbean, and will be working on uh, indigenous groups. Myself, um, I am working with communities in Africa and the Middle East, and my uh, thematic area is education. We have Tanvir, who is part of the SAC region, and his thematic area is human rights and advocacy. Jacqueline recently joined us, and she's with um, in Southeast Asia and Pacific. And we have Jessica, who's our learning and evaluation officer, and Hen, who many of you have worked with, especially the uh, we, uh, Working with the Algeria team, uh, who is part of, who is leading conference and uh, events funds. And we have uh, our director, Cassia Echavari Queen, who is leading the team. So, some of the major themes of you know the relaunch process um, include the following uh, we did transition and we are continuing to transition to a grant program that is more focused on areas of desired impact uh, a key part of it is power sharing uh, in the, with a regional focus hence you know decentralizing to now working with regional committees that will support in, in funding decisions but also thought partnership around how we can uh, support communities in the different regions. Uh, equity has been central and continues to be central to every element of the relaunch process and its success. And there has, you know, there is a sust substantial increase in focus of funding communities uh, that, you know, are termed or we recognize are underrepresented. Uh, lastly, there has been a focus of recognizing beyond funding, how else can we support community members. So a key part of it is capacity building and learning, creating space for affiliates and communities to exchange knowledge and experiences to better strengthen the work that we are all doing. So what are our new programs? The first program is uh, the Wikimedia Community Fund and this seeks to you know, nurture more sustainable and diverse global movements. Uh, previously, we had separate programs. We had the rapid fund being very separate, project grants, simple annual plan grants, and the annual plan grants. And this community fund is, you know, is, is the main basket that includes all these programs. So it is one program, only with different uh, types of support and levels of support. The emphasis again is on equity, but and especially participation from underrepresented communities. Uh, there is a space to to resource individuals, groups, organizations, and affiliates, and and the different forms that different communities are organizing. We are looking to identify what are the pathways of growth within programs, and all this is dependent on impact. So again, coming back to more focusing on desired impact and less on organizational structures that previously have made the funding programs very rigid and, and difficult for communities to access. 
Uh, we also will be focusing uh, within this program uh, on building capacity and partnerships, and there will be opportunity of uh, multi-year investment. So looking at what are those specific uh, programs within this main program, the Rapid Fund continues. Again, the Rapid Fund uh, supports short projects that need fast funding. The approval for process is within a month. We did increase the funding range from 500 to 5,000 uh, USD. Um, the events and conference plans remain as an opportunity for communities to find resources to support in organizing uh, thematic or regional you know, spaces for people to share and build capacity and networks. And we have a general support fund that looks at um, operational and programmatic support uh, that is flexible, that is guided by strategic plans where that is where that is available and that's where the opportunity of multi-year funding comes in. The next uh, funding program, new funding program is Wikimedia Alliances Fund that seeks to foster strong uh, free knowledge ecosystem. Uh, we, from your work, you already recognize that there are opportunities of bringing mission aligned organizations to the space to support us in strengthening the work that we're really doing. And we have created this program that will begin in this November for those organizations that are mission aligned, that, you know, seek to support the growth in editors, content and readers, and especially in underrepresented communities. And then we have the Wikimedia Research and Technology Fund that seeks to support and resource uh, projects that are looking to improve technology, tools and research that and, and those that respond to Wikimedia needs. So these two programs will begin next, next calendar year, which is January 2022 for the research projects and for the technology projects, it will be in March next year. Uh, when you think about, you know, funding rounds that you can be part of, uh, here they are, and, and this uh, schedule is available on our meta page, uh, and I will share that during the question and answer moment. Um, and uh, this is a schedule for Africa and the Middle East, uh, where most of the communities represented today are in. The first round is in this October, November, uh, but we will have a second round in, in March and, and April uh, next year. So what has the transition plan or process been, especially for current current grantees? Uh, we began the, 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 the transition in June and July uh, this year. Uh, program officers have been working with uh, specific and, and overall communities in sharing about what does this um, strategy relaunch uh, entail, what does it mean for specific people we want to assure, you know, every grantee who had a, pro a grant approved, you know, before June 2021, they will continue without any changes until they choose to reapply. Uh, the proposed timelines I just shared are uh, open for feedback because we are in a flexible year that we, where we are inviting um, feedback from the community to better understand what, what makes sense for each community. There will be multiple mini office hours to discuss in detail what is the new application process. We have a new grant portal um, that seeks to make the process uh, more friendly and especially for newcomers. Um, we also have new reporting and budget templates uh, and we, we have a learning and evaluation strategy. So we will have multiple uh, officers to share in detail what uh, these different templates or tools or strategies uh, mean for, for you. So one of, of the themes was around decentralization in decision making and a process to support that has been regional committees. And the regional committees, you know, provide the partnership within the regions. It's not just about decision making. Uh, they also support, uh, create opportunities where we can incorporate knowledge from existing community members, such as board members of different affiliates. Uh, within the committees, we will have subcommittees as needed uh, to support, and especially international programs. There will be separate uh, research uh, and software committees uh, and the regional committees will have an opportunity to share their input and especially towards uh, particular tools that are relevant for particular regions. 
Um, so far, the regional committee has had what we call learning sessions. And with these learning sessions, it was a moment for the committees to understand not only the history of uh, grant making in the different regions, but overall as Wikimedia Foundation, but also an opportunity to strengthen the learning around equity, diversity and inclusion. Um, and especially knowing that we are seeking to bring uh, on board uh, emerging uh, and underrepresented communities. Uh, it's been a collective process of, of building working dynamics amongst the committees. Uh, to ensure that uh, resources continue to be decentralized. There's an understanding of uh, the context of each particular region. There's an understanding of what are the opportunities and what are the challenges of these regions and how can we work with different applicants to support the, the different initiatives they bring forth for, uh, for resourcing. Um, Within the Middle East and Africa region, we have 12 members and uh, including Nur Yemen and Farah who are part of, of, of this um, region. Where are we and what have we done uh, within this region? Uh, we have funded in the region communities, including Wikimedians of Levant, who I have had uh, so much from uh, Mariana's session about the, the input and, and the contribution they're making to grow the region and the communities. Uh, we have Wikimedia Morocco, we have Wikimedia Algeria, uh, the Iraqi Wikimedians User Group, Tunisia, uh, Wikimedia in Sudan and, and uh, you know, uh, Wikimedia is a group Turkey members who have benefited from, from the resources. Uh, rapid grants to individuals and communities have uh, been, you know, have been distributed to these uh, countries. Uh, one of the things that we continue to see is the role rapid grants have uh, as an entry point to resourcing communities, but also to creating um, opportunities of accessing annual funding that then is able to sustain already ongoing efforts or to you know, better coordinate com individual community efforts. Um, we recognize that we have a challenge, uh, especially in the region that we continue to work on or, or, and especially on how do we navigate this around um, ineligibility of countries due to US restrictions on funding or where local um, uh, countries you know, have strict uh, restrictions or have restrictions on foreign funding. But we have uh, a few ideas to support us in moving forward. And one of them is an intentional commitment to increasing investment in funding uh, the region. We want to leverage uh, existing communities such as the ones I have named to support those new emerging communities and, and being able to support um, newcomers who are coming in. Uh, we hope to invest in partnerships that grow the work in the region. Uh, when we think about beyond funding, uh, we hope to invite thought partnership. And this is one space I hope to uh, invite thought that thought partnership um, in exploring ways of supporting initiatives in the region. Uh, we also want to work with you in collaborating in how do we build a well-balanced uh, organizer ecosystem. And I will leave a space to, to hear from you about thoughts and ideas of how we can move forward in, in supporting this region. Um, so, this is uh, information of how we, you can get in touch or you can stay in touch. And I will share this uh, presentation with you. And lastly, um, you know, I'm open to hearing your thoughts and, and to answering any questions uh, you may have. I am open for any questions or comments or ideas.
thank you, Miss Veronica, for your presentation. It was very, very, uh, <laughs> I lost the word. It was very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can um, Rasid Marifi Mumayez Jiddan? Shukran Lig. So the translator will uh, <laughs> will tell you. Okay. So now, Veronica, I uh, invite all the participants to ask you question. Yes. So it's for you. Let's ask all the participants to ask questions from you. There is no question. No question. I think, <laughs> no I think question. there is a question in Arabic and I can interpret it right here for you. Thank you, Reda. Yeah. As I as did interpretation in the other room, I can join, mm. join you here. Okay. So the question from uh, Adil, uh, uh, the question is that the question is that the question is that the question is that the question is question is regarding the, the, uh, the regional committees. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's there any specific uh, percentage uh, of uh, uh, resource allocation, or mm -hmm. it is related to the the nature of projects. Yeah. Um, so I can respond. Um, first, it is related to the desired impact. I think that not. I think that is the basis of uh, the decisions we are making. We're looking at we have a project. Uh, that has been pre presented to us. What is the desired impact? Do the strategies um, address, uh, 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 do the strategies or programs presented, uh, are they fit or are they aligned enough or are they strong enough to uh, achieve the, the goals of the, of, of the desired impact? Um, and then looking at it also at, you know, at the beyond funding level where we are intentional about, about working with community members in that achievement of the desired impact. From the preparation of the proposal to the actual work, to reviewing together the, the results of, of the work. Uh, and, and that's why you know, a key part, a key change in, in, the, in the strategy relaunch, relaunch is that we do have a learning um, uh, and evaluation strategy uh, so that we can learn uh, together, you and us, about what is the impact we are seeing from the investment of these resources, um, and then going back to see: do we shift in, you know, together, you, you and us, and that's why it's 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 an approach of thought partnership. It's an approach of collaboration to see how else or how do we strengthen these impacts. So it's it's focused not on particular levels of funding, not on particular structures of organizing, but more on what is the desired impact. Okay, I see a question from um, Faraji, how do you think we can improve partnership to facilitate access to funding with local laws and, and special restrictions? Um, I think first it's to acknowledge that the, restric the restrictions are there and there's only so much we can do about some of these restrictions. Some of them are beyond um, uh, uh, you know, the, the capacity of, of the team or the foundation. But uh, we can leverage existing uh, communities that are already working in those communities. And, and sometimes in conversations we've had is, let's look at who is working where we want to work that, you know, and they've been able to navigate the space. And, and I know, uh, I think Jack Raba, who is part of the partnerships team will be speaking to you later, but he's been very um, instrumental in identifying those partnerships that can facilitate access to funding in, 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 in areas where we can't. Uh, but it does need to be intentional uh, and it also needs to recognize that those partnerships do exist. And together, I think it's, it's not just the foundation seeking to identify these partnerships. I think we are in a, in a, in a space where we are inviting your experience, your, your thinking, um, 
your wisdom around without you know passing on the burden to to you uh, to say oh i've been working with this community and they can access funding is there an opportunity of working with them another process that we've used uh, previously um and and now is working closely with those partners to be fiscal sponsors as long as they remain uh, mission aligned uh, from the grant strategy we launched now we have the wikimedia alliances fund that will facilitate such partnerships as well. Thank you, Miss Veronica. I find the word, it was very useful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank uh, you. another question yeah. are waiting for us. I think we have another question now. Okay, let's see. Uh, especially the majority of you. Okay, I, I, um, uh, for Faraji, um, I think I responded to your question. Uh, let me know if I have not. I'm, I'm happy to. Uh... Yes, uh, I think it was uh, the same uh, question. So it's okay. uh, the same uh, challenge for all community, I think. Yeah. So thank you, Veronica, and uh, keep in touch uh, for. Uh, okay improve uh, partnership uh, also with the club. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Faj. Thank you. Thank you again, Ms. Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran, Leki. Yes. I did want to share very quickly the link to, to the grant uh, uh, um, strategy relaunch uh, process with the with the actual funding programs and you can see the details of what round is open the contact details are there uh, there's a new question can we yes. assume some Arab communities in diaspora are eligible we are open to yes I want to say uh, yes and let's and What's our let's discuss, let's talk. Uh, reach out to us for, for us to have a conversation to identify uh, what is this project. Remember, at the end of the day, the main question we're looking at is what is the desired impact? And we know sometimes structures or ways uh, of working have been, uh, have promoted rigidity. So we are open to explore, yes, we want to achieve this, but you are in the diaspora, how can we do it? And I will put the email address here. Um, for you to, to get in touch with us. Thank you very much. Now we still have time, so okay. give us a question, please. And not to worry, if there, if there are no questions at the moment, not to worry, uh, that's my email. Uh, we have office hours that will be posted on Meta. Um, so you can always reach out uh, to me and, and my team uh, and the team to, to share your questions. So no, no pressure. Thank you very much. Now, if uh, no one has question, I will ask you for the last time, please, all the participants, if you have questions, don't hesitate. We have questions. Okay. Can Veronica please explain more on what Look. is meant by impact as critical for funding? Yes. Um, so, how do I explain this? Is it's when we think about uh, 
impact. It's simply explain uh, what is the change you want to see? Uh, what is the change you want to see? And sometimes it's, you can take the approach of, this is the challenge. This is what I experienced. Um, I think from, from the previous session, um, um, you know, uh, people explained that this is the challenge we are seeing. And the change we desire to see is this. And the question we would ask after that is what path, what strategy, what key programs might support you in being able to see that change, in being able um, to see the desired impact. And when we have that and, and, and at the core of it, of course, it has to be aligned to the Wikimedia's mission. So simply explained, that's what it is. So if that is very clear, you are also clear. And, some, and why we are inviting that partnership is sometimes there's a challenge when you have to think about that by yourself. And we're inviting you, you know, to invite us to think with you, where you say, this is a problem I'm seeing and this is the idea I have around how to go about it. Uh, is there an opportunity to resource it? Uh, and what kind of resources? Uh, we're also, let's remember, resourcing is beyond actual funding. Uh, sometimes it's connecting you with someone within the movement, whether it's an affiliate or community member or within the foundation who shares, uh, you know, who has experience with uh, similar challenges uh, or who is able to provide advisorial um, uh, services um, and then where we need to come in for the financial um, resourcing, then we can come in. Leila, uh, did I answer you well? Enough, sufficiently enough. Okay, okay, great, great. Okay. Thank you, Jack. You can open the microphone and open the question. Uh, Jamal uh, raised uh, their hand. Ah. Okay. We have we have a question. Just one minute, he will uh, tap it. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Ms. Veronica. No, no, thank you. This is good. great. Okay. Okay. I'm alone, not much. Okay. Okay, and I think this is uh, Manel. You can help me. Uh, the question is still by Jama. I know his his name up, their name appears as in Arabic. I just want to confirm. Please, uh, can you repeat? Can you repeat, please? The question. There's someone who's asked the question. I just want to make sure it's this, uh, the same person. So I've been said to have great microphones. 
Yes, uh, the same yes, person. The same. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I would say uh, first you speak about two things. I one of one one of it is to acknowledge that sometimes while there are opportunities of working or contributing to the movement as an organized group, we do have you know members who choose to contribute as individuals and that's okay. Um, and that those who choose to contribute as a community, you're still part of a community, but how you organize is, is you know, with others. And that's also a different option. And that's why we have uh, varied uh, entries of being able to support these different forms of contribution. Uh, so I hear your idea around uh, Arabic wiki quotes. Uh, if there is an opportunity of working with others, uh, well and good. I think it's a great project. Um, I would say uh, the next steps for you would be to just use the email, share with us the, the idea you have, and we will point you to the right path of resourcing it. You also bring up the issue I was trying to connect before that one of the challenges some communities are facing is the not lack of uh, it could be sometimes the lack of or not a strengthened ecosystem of organizers and we want to be able to support that one of you know one of the points from mariana's conversation is around uh, more and more there's a need uh, and an awareness that we need to coordinate our efforts uh, of course without uh, stifling any um, uh, individual or different forms of contribution but more and more we need to do that and to support that is the development or creation or strengthening um, the ecosystem of organizers we have who can support newcomers who can support strengthen existing members in reaching or doing what they want you know they need to do to get to the desired impact they, they, they seek Thank you very much, Veronica. Thank you, thank you. If it's any more for say, then I'll take a message from the SIDA. Okay, if I think there are no other questions, yes. uh, thank you so much uh, for having me and on behalf of the community resources team, um, we appreciate your collaboration and your partnership and we hope to strengthen that. And uh, please write to us if you have any question and uh, looking forward to seeing um, all the change that unfolds from, from your work. Thank you very much, Veronica. Shukran ala kamil hadihi al-ma'lumat al-qayyima. Shukran li jamia as-ilat 